Eno still moving on in. That can do a lot to the Panzer IV. And he's getting very close. Oh, Panzer IV got too close. He got too close. And there's the satchel. Oh, he got... Oh, my God. Hello, everyone. I'm Grayshaw17, and today I'm covering a 3v3 on the map, Hunger Mute. Uh, we got ourselves a number of key combatants here, but it, this was submitted by somebody. I'll let you know at the very end. But thank you to everyone for your support. And uh, again, if you want to support me further, like, subscribe on YouTube, follow me, and subscribe on Twitch. And uh, check out my Patreon down below. But who do we have here today? Well, we got Mr. Balls Johnson. Nice. Uh, we got, uh, oh god, Evan GD Butchie? I, I, uh, we have Penetration. Weirdly, I'm surprised we don't see more names like this. Uh, Riker, we got Taz, and we got Joey. Uh, we got ourselves one of each for the allies, and then one, and then two O's austere and one OKW. Uh, again, if you're watching on Twitch, you can see their overall play time, but it looks like it's going to be a pretty damn good match overall. All right, and let's get into it. Ungermute, it's a long corridor urban-esque map. I say urban-esque because, yes, there is tons of buildings. It's very condensed. As long corridors, but uh, once you start leveling stuff, it does open up slightly, like in this area over here, or in like this area where it just becomes just completely open. So we'll see. We'll watch as the destruction takes hand. Uh, FG section pushed back to Pioneer, but the MG should maybe deal with that. He's repositioning. No, Taz is being what I like to call a cheeky bugger, because what he's doing is he's going back and forth. Uh, and go and like dodging the stuff, right? He is essentially making the MG uh, null and void because it can't set up in time. So great stuff right there. All right, British uh, managed to take mid with penal support from the Soviets. Which, by the way, we have ourselves counterattack. We have Taz going dot tactical support, and we got Joey going infantry company. So lots of artillery, which makes sense for these long corridor like uh, map. That's essentially uh, it's like okay. We have a little bit more room. We're going to already the enemy to death. Meanwhile, the Al Axis have gone the opposite approach. They've got big heavy tank, big heavy tank destroyer, and a uh, big heavy tank with big gun on it. So, big gun versus uh, lots of artillery. Yeah, I know. We'll see how the elephant does. But meanwhile, Penal's pushing along the left. I could potentially see a satchel in the next few seconds here against this MG. <laughs> These guys are like, hmm. Hold on a moment. Uh, hopefully this man real- Yeah, he does realize. Okay, he's not dumb. So he realizes, pulls back. Oh, we have a bunker over here, actually. So if he guards this flank, he'll guard the bunker. Uh, he'll be in a pretty good situation to kind of- Oh my god, no. Okay, going out the other side. Building still goes down. Still annoying for the German to deal with. And gives time, more specifically, for the penal forces to move on in more men. Even though he's just chilling in base. Uh, right now, I would say that a Riker is going to lose this fight. Just because of the suppression and the double grenadiers. But we'll see. Right now, along the right, we got ourselves a, night, a solid grenade by the American player. Uh, pushing back penetration. Uh, he did not overpen uh, penetration. In that case, it was just right. Anyway, Stern Pioneers are trying to hold back the riflemen. There is more men, aka the Rechelon, further back. Uh, Kubo lighting up the uh, riflemen. And they're doing their absolute best to try to hold this entire sector. Oh, we got ourselves the Kubo uh, getting close. To, actually, oh my god, three men just died right there. Grenade is thrown. Gets one model. But the Germans will hold this position. So good job by penetration of holding this sector. Hello there. Can you come over to say hello? Aww. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, this is Kirby. He he saw all the brutal violence, and he's like, I want to take part. Aw, didn't you? Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Aww. All right, let's see. What do you have to what what, what do you have to say? What what about this fighting going on? Not 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 exciting. Okay. What about the penal squad that just died over here? Oh, that's more up your alley. Okay. That's more up your alley, huh? Okay. Okay, here. Okay, there you go. There you go. 
Shock troops can now be used to crush the enemy. He's like, why do you think this is comfy? Shock because it is. Oh, American forces do manage to kill the Kubel and hold on to the territory. They have an ambulance to try to heal as well. We got ourselves uh, against Soviet for not Soviet British forces with the Universal Carrier to help burn the Germans out of the buildings, which removes one of the, be the best benefits of urban. Uh, cover is the fact that you can hide in buildings and get green cover. Not so much when you have a flamethrower that's burning your men out. So, not the best stuff there. But let's see right now. Oh, hello, curb. All right, here, I'll set you down. Great ears trying to hit the guy on the flank. Again, successfully holding that side. Is he building more bunkers? No, he has a sniper. Okay. I was like, where does manpower go? Nope, just sniper. Trying to get close for a, a nice Panzer Faust. Alas, the British should be able to suppress and keep them at bay. Yep, and they will. There goes a lot of MG fire. Uh, Universal Carrier is going to burn that Grenadier. Sniper focusing on him. That is very ballsy to have your sniper that close. But his name is Mr. Balls, so that kind of does make sense if you think about it. And uh, the Universal Carrier is going to be a little ballsy going after the Grenadier. Pants Grenadiers and MG, though, are going to guard the flank. But again, it's still pretty damn impressive for Taz to constantly be harassing the Germans so far from his base. MG still alive for the most part. Again, he needs to make sure that it suppresses the Pants Grenadiers. They don't get close because it's one bundle, and that can change things very quickly. Uh, Stern Pioneer does have a Shrek. I'm not sure why the uh, the American doesn't have any light vehicles. Probably would have kept that anti-infantry firepower for at least a time. Also, uh, not a lot of frontline men. D probably because of losses, right? I would I would assume losses. Yeah, already lost the bulk squad. So, not a great day to be uh, penetration as his frontline fighting force is not great uh, compared to the American. Though, again, jo Joey could definitely pump out some more riflemen if he wanted. But instead, he pumps out a mortar half-track to bomb the enemy and be like, Hey, I see your support gun here, but I'm gonna have something with armor that's gonna definitely tear you apart. Alrighty, now in mid, uh, we have stormtroopers actually flanked, which is a little surprising in my eyes. Again, could protect- Oh, no, retreats. Fire was too much. Wait, did they kill the MG-42? They killed MG-42. Again, maybe try to take that if possible. But here comes the German blob. Mr. Ball's coming in full force along the enemy. Maybe combined with penetration to really drive it to the British and make them uh, really regret. Again, maybe uh, give the, uh, the British a good pounding and take back mid with sheer force. Now, Great Ears pushing on in. Uh, maybe able to Faust. Does Faust, but doesn't kill it. It's barely alive. Uh, suppression was going on before he had to pull back. But Soviets coming on in with the T-70 and AEC. Okay, given that they're absolute best to hold this sector with the light armor. Germans, again, they lost another MG, unless I'm mistaken, they did. And they have no AT to fight this stuff. Pioneer goes down. Oh my god, he's just losing so many. I mean, he's picked up the MG, but still. There's just so many d dead bodies going on. It's an absolute slaughter for the Germans right there. They, they lost, and the penals are going to grab the men, aren't they? Oh, my God. Well, uh, that's how you kill an army in a small corridor. Meanwhile, the Panzer Grenadiers were flanking that entire time, but again, he himself has no AT. Yeah, so, uh, honestly, uh, I'm... Oh, my God, and the T-70 pinned the Panzer Grenadier. That's, okay, that's cruel and unusual punishment. Those men are stuck and are hiding. Okay, now they realize that they're that they have been found. It's like, shh, hide next to this T-70. They won't shoot us until they start shooting us. Oh, there goes the squad. Well, uh, I, I hope they weren't hoping for a miracle because they're, all they're getting is a massacre. Shrek team opening fire on the AC, but I'm going to need way more damage to deal with both light armored, uh, light armored vehicles. All right. Stormtroopers running like hell. Trying to get the hell out of do Oh, no. Is he going to be just absolutely KO'd? The one positive is Penetration, who managed to actually go deep into Joey's lines and managed to force him back. It was too much for Joey to take, but he's going to try his best with some more men, some more gear, and uh, hopefully, uh, you know, force the OKW back. But we'll see. 
Again, he does have a howitzer coming in. He did lose the uh, mortar half track, which I'm assuming maybe from the Shrek team. Yeah, from the Shrek team. Meanwhile, T70 diving into the enemy lines, but it may have been too much for him uh, in this situation. Shrek teams have been pulled out. Nice fouls, and the T70 is setting itself up to be absolutely Shrek to death. Let's see if that is a potential to happen. Only two Panzer Grandeer squads were left. Again, Blazing Color Cub, hello. Hopefully you're both doing well. This T70, not doing so well in this situation. One Shrek hits, can we get another shot? We got a Faust, and there goes the T-70, fortunately killing that force. Uh, again, it is looking still pretty good for the Allies. Again, they managed to force the Germans back and inflict heavy losses from the Sniper to pretty much everything else. So, great stuff there. Anyway, so with the enemy force gone, we have a bundle grenade being thrown. Uh, unfortunately not able to hit target. Alright, let's see. We got shock troops, penals, but again, uh, do you have up to- Okay, he does- he, he's just waiting for armor. Possibly KV, but he's just waiting for additional fuel for, for the pump out men. Alright, infantry section coming along the side. No upgrades for him, except for grenades. Rifle grenade is fired. There's a little bit of damage there. Shock troops help clear the remaining German forces. And yeah, we are looking at potential for... What is that? Uh, something's coming in mid. Hold on, we'll figure... Oh, it's, a, it's an airstrike. Suppressing the Germans. Not too shabby. Again, that's from the forward base. The strafing run air support. Germans are going to be in for a rude awakening. Four by the Russia coming on in. Again, for those who don't know, gives a bit of a accuracy increase. Additionally, wait, hold on. Additional armor and uh, accuracy. Squad spray that combat. Okay. Really beneficial for shock troops, if that's the case. Because, again, unless I'm mistaken, they actually have way more armor than, like, that. So, for infantry-wise, yeah, that makes sense. All right, uh, you have an Ostwin trying his best to shoot down the plane. So far, not. Oh, thank you, guys. Again, chat, I'm doing pretty well. Thank you. Again, trying to heal up over here. Again, the Allies right now definitely have a lead. They have about 130 points ahead of the Allies. Allies seem to be, again, having this in the bag. Joey's having a bit of trouble along the right. MG suppressing him. Nice smoke, though. Stops it. Maybe he can get close and throw some grenades against the enemy. He does a Yeah, he has grenades. Almost to not pushing along the right. We have a Panzer II. Sir, you're deploying a Panzer II at 13 minutes. That's like saying, ah, yes. I see that T-34. You know what I'm going to bring out? Panzer II. That will definitely deal with it. No, it will not. And I say uh, T-34 because that's probably what's going to be coming around the corner here soon. Or worse, a KV. MG somehow is still alive after all those uh, shots against it. Howitzer trying its best, but unable to kill it either. Though very low on health. Uh, they're going to pull on back. Does, is he going to retreat to an ambulance? He does have forward retreat to an ambulance. Nice. All right, Oswin help clear, cleaning up the uh, Soviet forces. Soviets, uh, Riker made one small wee little error. And that error was uh, he forgot to... Nice job. I love that the man ran and he was a bit in mind. Uh, he never got AT. So this Oswin is just running circles around Riker right now. Also, we got ourselves a Panzer IV. Uh, so again, uh, Yellow doing a, a pretty good job. You know what? I'm sorry. I'll, I'll call him. I'll say Butchie. So Butchie doing a pretty good job. And slowly counterattacking with some better infantry. It makes shocks go from ignoring about two-thirds of small arms to about 50%. Ah, good to know. All right, so right now the Brits are uh, ready, and they do have that forward base, which do they have enough for strikes? Uh, very close to. So you can do artillery cover here soon. That would actually hurt armor in some capacity and definitely hurt infantry. Uh, what's unfortunately uh, not helping is this right-hand push. As we currently see, somehow, some way, uh, penetration uh, is at play, and we can see here the Panzer II is thrashing the captain. 
and uh, forcing Joey back. And I love all the cover here, preventing the AT gun from really assisting. There's like three lines of cover that's just making the AT gun just unable to hit target. Love it. Uh, it seems like the Allies, from what Chad is saying, was close to winning this game with a touchdown, but somehow fumbled the ball and the Axis are running back <laughs> across the field and possibly might be able to turn the tide. Although, remember when I said about T-34? Yeah, place it with the Sherman. Co-2 players making their names difficult. Yeah, yeah yes, uh, Kolokov, yes. It's, uh, I'm just always a player where it's like, I'm sorry, how do you say your name? Panzer two diving in deep, searching for the ambulance. Not a great trade, honestly, but at least it's something, I guess. Let's see, can't even kill it. He doesn't even kill it, he decrews it. He's gonna need a little, there he goes. He does finally tear it down, but the Sherman kills it shortly thereafter. I mean, it'll cause some havoc, but Joey's like, I have American industry behind me, I can just get more. Uh, speaking of uh, industry, we'll see if the German industry can possibly make up for, oh no, he actually killed the AT gun. Although here comes the KV-1. Awesome, and still uh, 20 kills at this point, just murdering lots of Soviet forces and British. Although, the same can be said about the German forces just KO'd right there. MG suppressing uh, some of the British forces. Panzer 4 trying to deal damage against KV, but even the Shrek teams are bouncing off it. Another Panzer 4 going on in. Going mono -y mono even if he, they're having trouble penning it. Honestly, if I'm this uh, Panzer 4, I'd run over this penal. Because it's being suppressed right now, and you, get, you can kill that squad and then flank the unit. Win-win. But uh, right now it's a win-win-win for the Axis because they have all three victory points and they're slowly pushing the enemy back. Come on, run the man over! If an enemy is su fully suppressed, you can run them over and uh, they can't really do much against it. So. Nice kill right there. Excellent job. Uh, we have a good kill on the AEC. Uh, this front building is about to collapse, which would give the uh, bonus the Brits have. Wait, uh, no, I'm sorry. Is it just the, oh, it's just the airstrikes and stuff. I thought, is there something more with this? No, it's just, okay, forward position to heal. That's it, okay. Maybe I'm thinking of another building. I think I'm thinking of the Soviet building that provides a little bit of support. All right, Sherman looks like he took some hits, but I'm not seeing a lot from the jerk. I swear, I was like, are we seeing another Panzer II? No. Um, what are we gonna see here? An, another, we're gonna get an Oswind. Interesting choice. Uh, honestly, maybe get a Stug to help pen that KV. All right, we have American forces pushing along the side. Volk squads are lying wait for him. Cern Pioneer, again, so alive. And now we have Over Squad, which should help. Grenade did very little. In mid, again, British still holding with everything they got. Oh, they built another fight. Oh, that's amazing. Another forward position to keep healing. Taz just being. The dick he is at making sure that if he can, uh, you know, harass the enemy, he will. And in this case, uh, Panzer IV is going to try to push on up. AT is going to be like, nah, and just force him away. KV-1 almost uh, healed up for a counterattack. Again, against two Panzer IV, it's still going to be a tough fight. But uh, the KV, again, the armor will definitely help it survive. And it doesn't exactly have a lot of AT uh, infantry to deal with. Just one Shrek team and... Yeah, just it. One Shrek team, maybe a few fouls. Uh, Great Ears trying to learn the shock troops. I'm assuming... Oh, no. He's just going in for a right grenade. But he dodged. Pants 4 come along the side. Uh, KV-1 being like, Oh, all these mines are adorable, but I'm a tank, so I can easily deal with that. We have troops moving on in for fouls, but he has too much armor. It's not going to do anything. Penal's still moving on in. That can do a lot to the Panzer IV. And he's getting very close. Oh, Panzer IV got too close. He got too close. And there's the satchel. Oh, he got... Oh, my God. What? What a big brain play right there. He used the, 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 the guy's satchel against him. Oh, my Lord. What a maneuver. I, that was intentional. Why else would he get close to that building? What a move. What an absolute baller move. All right. Oswind and Shrek team tries trying to hold back that unit. All 
hell of a shot. Uh, Panzer IV putting a decent amount of pressure on that uh, KB. Again, just get a penetration now and again. AT gun though moving on up to hopefully push back the Panzer IV. Again, a lot of rubble in the way, so I don't think it's going to be a clear shot. Maybe it gets the Oswind. Damn, Panzer IV getting some good pens. Is he going to try to engage? Is he going to try to use Blitz and try to move in? Again, it's additional speed and stuff. But no, he's just going to hold back the Brits. Oh! Penetration! Uh, unfortunately, misses that shot. Does a little bit of damage. But definitely, look, if this thing can't kill it, I, I don't know what else would, all right? It has the explosive power to really just pound anything in its way into oblivion. So, we'll see how well that goes. Anyway, Pan's 4 uh, pulls back, uh, covered by double Oswin, just to shred any infantry that gets close. Again, it's going to reload near the front. Although, it looks like Joey managed to, uh, again, uh, counter... Uh, Penetration's uh, deep thrust into his lines and is now thrusting himself into Penetration's lines, managing to potentially kill the, it does kill the support gun. He's gonna need actual armor, so maybe a Panzer IV to help fight it. Nice Shrek shot, by the way. Hold on, can that Panzer headquarters kill it? No! A good use of smoke allows the Sherman to escape. So, excellent job. We also have artillery. So, from the safety of Joey's lines, while he's sipping back and taking some whiskey, he can thrash that, uh, you know, and actually, uh, you know, bomb the Panzer headquarters into oblivion. So, awesome job right there. Uh, Sturm Tiger moving on in. Again, could easily level this building along with that infantry section. If Taz is not paying attention, we'll see. Three, two, one. He's moving. Not fast enough, and he does lose a very valuable unit from the Sturm Tiger. So, excellent job. But he does have a Comet. So, again, both the Soviets and the Brits have some serious armor behind them now. And an SU-85. The Germans do not have uh, the penetration required for that much armor, or the damage at the very least. And if we look at both, they're going to need something bigger, stronger, faster. Okay, maybe not faster, but an elephant could do in that regard. However, along with this Tiger Ace, they lack two things. Fuel, but don't put that in a minute, but more valuable is command points. They do not have the command points in order to get out the armor necessary to deal with all that heavy armor. But we'll see. Shrek team does focus on the weaker armored unit out of the bunch. Same thing with Panzer IV. AT gun trying to help against the Comet. Wow, they're actually doing quite a bit of work. Okay, now the fact the British AT gun has been dealt with, we'll, we'll see how things fare. Shrek team still doing quite a bit. Let's see. Again, trying to heal up the paint, uh, the armor along the side. Storm Tiger gonna deal with the Ford uh, assembly. Remove that from play. Again, not many kills, uh, but has definitely forced Taz into a more defensive situation where he was very much on the offensive through the majority of this game. Uh, Panzer, oh, nice shot with the KV-1. And luckily it bounced that uh, Panzer IV shot, but a lot of armor about to push through. No mines there, so no risk of snares. Comet in a real bad position, though. If he gets, uh... Okay, never mind. He pulls back. Again, they can focus fire on this uh, chain. Hopefully killing it. Again, they're still trying to kill the infantry, which would be a nice little win. Comet and SU-85 just forcing the Germans back. But I don't think that's the... Pl I think, that, honestly, he's just trying to get, um... You know, command points... But again, uh, he, I, I don't think he realized he needs to have a Panzer Corps. I, I don't know. I think he did not realize. Also, nice job grabbing Brent from the Pioneers. Just why not? It'll do damage. I'll say that. Oswin again trying to help clear the infantry. We have a fight in mid. Jackson versus Sturm Tiger, uh, which is now out of position. Needs some support. Uh, but all the armor is kind of busy elsewhere. Uh, Satchel? Not close enough, even with four Mother Russia. Uh, once you start being uh, fired upon, you slow your speed. I miss the good old days where men would charge under fire and just absolutely annihilate all the infantry in their way. Oh, well, you know, one of the positives, I guess. By the way, uh, unless I'm mistaken, four Mother Russia does it no longer affects the B4, correct? 
because uh, the four because team weapons it, that that wouldn't count the B4. I remember it used to actually affect the B4 and affect its uh, um, accuracy, but hold on. Oh my God, no! Ladies and gentlemen, this third tiger made three squads disappear. That was a great hit, and I love it firing from across the building. There goes two penals and a shock, rendering pretty much Riker's entire frontline ar front army uh, mute and null and void. All right, so uh, so again, he, he's gonna need repair. We're ready for the Comet is at least there, and he's getting a second one. But if that elephant actually is a uh, you know a good unit that comes on out to fight. That might force the comet into a, uh, sorry, that might force the comets into a more, again, defensive position and unable to really do much at all. Alright. Jackson coming over to help. Again, along the right, at the very least, Joey's managed to very effectively beat, uh, Penetration down. Uh, Penetration, though, again, gets a great kill along the left, helping his allies. But he himself is in a real bad situation in... The, all these American forces can push and potentially kill his Panzer headquarters. Um, Sturm Tiger repositioning the fight. Again, Vet 1 will help with grenades. Uh, not necessarily with other things. Again, like reload isn't effective until Vet 3. But, yeah, we'll see. Again, he's going to point blank it. Yeah, I, he launches grenade, actually does damage. Panzer headquarters firing. Panther coming on the field. Hold on, this might have been a bait. Smoke dropping, allowing the Sherman to potentially escape. Look at the top speed of that guy. Hot damn. That speed bo uh, boost absolutely helped. Panther may charge into a uh, bit of a trap as he can be snared. Well, if something else hit him. I don't see the AT gun. Oh, it was pretty far back. Elephants on the field. Forcing the comet at bay. Luckily, the comet does dodge that shot somehow. S55 again being hit by these. Sh these Shreks have been so annoying for the Soviets. Uh, the building's about to come down though, so at the very least, that's one less issue to worry about. Although we can always get another one. Does he have? No, there's no windows on the one side, so maybe not. All right. Let's see. One grenade kills another. Uh, another one of Riker's men just dies. Friends just hitting the uh, Panzer Grenadiers, though. Uh, Panther is uh, charging. Now he's upgrading Commander, uh, uh, his Panzer Commander, but that would have been helpful, a little, you know, having that a little sooner. Because he has plenty of resources. He could have used that to already this or already that. Well, uh, at least the support gun's trying to help. Sherman comes on in, gonna get a rear shot. Although he's high explosive rounds. Uh. Not sure what the goal is there. Captain can re reman that, so maybe he can fight the over squad with the Sherman. All right. Nice job with the over squad. Throws the smoke. But alas, can't block all the sight. AT gun coming on in. Another MG. Comments on the back foot. He's gonna need heals like soon. Also, that's pretty close to the front. I maybe think further back would be a better idea. Elephant has managed to actually get a kill. Oh, SU-85, SU-85. Oh, and now there's a Tiger Ace? Oh, this is definitely not a good day to be the German. I mean, not sorry, Germans, the, the Allies. Remember when the Allies were just having fun messing with the, the Germans? And it was like, oh, and the chat was even saying like, this game's gonna be over quick. Yep. Uh, Axis, uh, regain momentum, and the Allies fumble the ball quite a bit. Let's see if they're able to maybe take back the initiative. Again, KV-1s are good, and they can hurt, even kill, like, something like a King Tiger. But... This elephant, which has a lot of damage, it can fortify itself and make that, oh, so much worse. But maybe fighting in a different area would help. Storm Tiger, again, got some good veterancy. Uh, but alas, does get KO'd. Mine does hurt the Sherman. K-51 
Can he get the kill though? He needs a he needs uh, something else to finish it. And unfortunately, the panther is dead. Wait, how'd the panther die? I okay. Panther and Serb Tiger fight uh, died. So uh, allies failed to get anti tank for the Axis counter attack. Yeah, that's that that's the big uh oh. Artillery might finish this off. Penetration will be unable. Okay, he could get a King Tiger, but it's going to be a few minutes. And he's going to need to get every ounce of fuel he can get and manpower. Which allows Joey to be free. Which, if Joey's free to move, his uh, forces might be able to flank the armor that's now forcing both Taz and Riker back. Pretty heavily. I love this elephant just fortified against the, uh, against the Soviet forces. Just ready to just absolutely annihilate them. And again, fortification is increased range of fire and received damage. So it makes it very hard to kill. But you know who also is fortifying? The Soviets. The Soviets is fortifying. It's a fortification match, gentlemen. A match I don't think the Soviets can win, but he's going to try. Oh, uh, even the Panzer IV is fortifying. That's amazing. We have a fortification fight. I'm Duggan Moore. No, I'm Duggan Moore. All right, let's see. Well, this one gets, again, 25% uh, received damage, 25% range of fire. This one is uh, increased reload speed and 20% received damage. So, take your pick. Comet's doing their best. Awesome, very low. Does die. That's a nice kill. Jackson maneuvering over to help his teammate. Tiger Ace up to Vet 2. Panzer IV, though, uh, again, not the best versus Double Comets. And we'll have to pull back. Again, a lot of the infantry is healing back at base. So it would be better if they kind of moved on up to, to support. Oswind and Panzer IV trying to clean up the infantry. Can he snare? No, he cannot. All right, let's see. Let me let me drink some water while I have a, a brief moment. As it as 25 being like, I'll shoot him at elephants. Like, no, no, you're not. All right. So a bit uh, closer for a fight now. Victory point wise, the axes are still down, but they definitely have. Two fronts have more initiative than one. Right now, Joey is the deciding factor. And his Jackson might decide the fate of this Panzer IV. Vet three, though, takes some very good hits across the board. Uh, smoke was dropped, but he fired through it, though missed. Free bread gun if uh, the uh, Germans can grab it. Take the point! Oh my god. Okay, there we go. He's, he is, okay. Shrek team's moving on up, hoping to kill the Jackson. One thing about Comets, they have white phosphorus. So blobs are a little less effective. Oh, nice shock ability by the elephant. We have a double team in play and recon to help identify key targets. Hold on. Pants 4 and Oswin going in. Again, I don't know. Oswin maybe gets infantry, not armor, but Elephant can get the final shot. Or the Shreks? Shreks retreat. Elephant moving up pretty far. Snared Panzer IV. Uh, where's the Tiger? Uh, hold on. Tiger Ace is moved in. They are flanking the Elephant with the Comets. And uh, the Sherman's retreating. Focus on the stuff behind the lines rather than in front. They're going to need additional armor. Panzer IV needs to move on in. Elephant taking a lot of rear shots. This could be it. Again, armor as well. Hitting for the front. Elephant is down for the count. And the Tiger Ace bounces off the Comet. Now they're pinning the Oswind. Comets might be able to get away unscathed. Brumbar goes down. Comet does die to the Oswind of all things. Tiger Ace yeah, repositioning the fight off one additional Comet. Heads four as well. Can they get another kill? I don't know. Nope. Heads four missed. If he would have penned, he would have gotten it or hit. Hold on. This other Comet's pretty weak. He's still diving. Tiger Ace fires. Very close to killing it, but Panzer Four is down. And his main gun's destroyed, and in a single sweep, 
the allies managed to kill all the biggest threats the Axis could have thrown. And, uh, yeah, if they would have repositioned maybe their Shrek team's better or something, maybe they could have fought that off, but... Nope. Hold on. Using our piercing, trying to kill it, but there's really not much they can do. There's nothing else that can dive those comets or kill it. Maybe if you run up with infantry, like, do, uh, but they don't have anything. He hit them with a Morbius sweep. Oh, God, don't bring back that mean chat. Please, no. All right, riflemen are holding on. Again, we have a lot of territory being taken. Nice job. Uh, uh, Germans can maybe take mid as one positive, but yeah, you took mid, but you have nothing to back it up. Like, you're getting a panther now, but you're versing two comets. The Soviets still have a lot of armor. The, the Sherman, I think, is, yeah, Sherman is still alive. Joey has 1,800 manpower. It's not looking great. Here comes the Shrek teams, again, against that solid armor. They can definitely survive. And yeah, he's holding down. He's like, I don't care. You're not going to hurt me. Now, will he kill them? It, it's, I would say the suppression's more likely to do damage. Let's see, and he's going to be forced back. Excellent job right there. So, let's see. Panzer Grenadiers taking a number of hits. They're gonna pull away. King Ty, wait, what the? F Penetration, like, hold on. I got one trick up my sleeve. Potentially in my pants. That I'm gonna pull out and absolutely whale on the allies with. In this case, killing a KV-1 with heat rounds. It's gonna take the. It's gonna take all the allies to take down this behemoth. But penetration still going. Potentially killing an S-85. He doesn't pull back. Another S-25 and Panther go on in. The comments are not healed yet. Uh, I don't think they want to be in this fight. But they will try to move in to help their ally. Again, fire through the smoke misses. But with the S-25, it does not. Jackson bounces. Bunker being made? Really? I don't know about that one. But of all things, Penetration, who I discounted for a long time, has come in and actually done quite a bit of work. So excellent job there, Penetration. Alright, Panther uh, again being made, flanking this KV, which is guarding this territory. Double Panther coming on over to try to help. KV-1 going to try to escape. But again, while a lot of allied armor is weakened, it's not dead. That's the one, one thing I'll say. Panthers are diving on in against the KV. But in this case, KV fortifying once again against the armor, being like, come at me, bro. Come at me. Let's do this. You can't fight me. s 85 does die around it. Let's let's be clear. But he's still holding. He's still not dead. Uh, Pioneers, again, still with a Bren gun, which I find hilarious. Uh, holding on for dear life. Pan's great here, Blob. Again, he's really tried. We are All right. in a dangerous situation. 100 points remaining. Pioneers healing up the King Tiger. Again, allies have the victory point lead, but one go again, if the allies overextend, which we've seen happen quite a few times, maybe something happens. Maybe the allies can turn the tide, or the axes can turn the tide. The axes push in once again and just spread out their forces, and the allies focus. It's not going to go their way. All right, we have one panther charging uh, head uh, headlong into battle. Again, population-wise, we're looking at like I'll, I'll be I'll be probably low 60s at best, and the allies are in like the low 80s. So we'll see. A lot of uh, allied armor right here. Is he trying to bait him in? I think he's trying to bait him in. Wait, we have something coming on up. It's uh, time on top. He's walking into time on target. Oh, no. Wait, is he going around? Uh, No, time on target missed. Okay, never mind. Infantry meant for fighting 
uh, is now fight. Oh god, he fought the Bofer. That's that's a misplay right there for the Axis. He really he couldn't afford to force up his infantry. Uh, now the comments are speeding behind the uh, king. Maybe he can be Faustin, but the damage is done. The comments behind, and the king's just gonna turn his giant barrel behind. Again, one is snared. Panther, uh, if they can focus on them. Again, they're actually being hit by their own artillery, which is hilarious. Is that se what is that? Oh, who's grenade? All right, I'm not seeing any allied losses. Max is very close. Max is do lose the unit. The tiger tried to move on up, but I think this is game. Yep, it's game. The Axe has already lost all their major armor, and the allies haven't lost anything. That's it. The yeah, the comet survived. They made it out alive, and the allies still have combat potential of forcing up the remaining forces. That's the other thing. The Axes don't really have any calling, so they don't have anything that can really save them. So it's really up to their units and how they're playing them. And unfortunately, in this case, uh, it could be better. It could be a bit better. Okay, King Tiger's not doing... Okay, yeah, it only has three kills. It's not doing great. All right. He's gonna try in his best. He's gonna keep fighting. All right. Oh, God. Uh, Padaispik, thank you very much for the follow. Sorry, I'm butchering that. And uh, Kim White, thank you very much for the follow. Oh, Titus, I even missed you. Thank you. Damn, and Ronnie even subscribed. I missed all that stuff. I am so sorry. I'm terrible. <laughs> but uh, thank you guys so much for the support. Really kind of you all. All right, King Tiger going to try to fight all that. He has heat rounds. Soviets have armor. Oh, he's trying to shred him. Oh, he got a building. Building with the Shreks. We've seen this go well. Artillery is hitting the king, though, and the Comet's trying to get behind. Damn, these Comets are really speedy. Gonzalez here, and fortunately, it, uh, it's going to... Hold on, Shrek fire. No, it's not enough. King is decrewed. Allies might... Uh, oh, Artillery kills it, though. Mine hits to Jackson. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to fast forward because this is done. There, There's a new Tiger Ace, but... It's not, it, the allies are so... They have so much armor and stuff. It's just not going to work. Yeah, I, I... Again, it's like... You have some armor, but it's not enough. And they surrender. Alright. So, overall, I thought that was a pretty good game. Not great. Not as good as the last one, in my opinion. Uh, but I still think it was pretty good. Uh, let's see. Again, the Axis had a good comeback. That's the thing. The Allies fumbled with lack of AT. They were the Romanians near Stalingrad. They had no AT to deal with the Soviets. Uh, but yeah, I thought they did a pretty damn good job in counterattack pretty effectively. Um, great counterattack across the board. And then Allies did a really better, like a, a better armor play against the Allies, so the Axis than the Axis against the Allies. I love the KVs as well, holding down. Now, uh, penetration, amazing Storm Tiger shot, uh, but still, could have been a bit better. All right, now if I if I recall correctly, uh, let me verify because I want to say Riker submitted this, but let me verify real quick because I don't want to be wrong with that assessment. Um, let's see. Do 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 do. Quick. Uh, I oh, no, I will cut this out. Maybe I won't. We shall see. But let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. I, I should have probably saved this. This is this is gray shot failing right here, right now. Um, Angermude. Angermude. Who submitted this game? Shoot. Because there's potentially up to three people here who could have submitted it. Um, let's see. This is an older one. Uh... Damn it, where, where where was it? Oh, here we go. Oh, Taz submitted this. See, this is why I checked. Thank you, Taz, for submitting this replay. Definitely who I thought from the first bit. <laughs> top damage. Top kills goes to Joey. On the other side, we have top damage on uh, Butchie. Top kills on Penetration. Uh, again, Elephant, I thought, did pretty well. Just got overwhelmed by the Comets. Uh, you know what? Panzergradius did okay. But yeah, overextended way too much. 
Uh, King Tiger did okay, and uh, again, Serum Tiger got some good hits, but again, I feel like, again, overextension led to uh, absolute chaos. S-85s, uh, they died, but they still did quite a bit. KV-1s were the thing I was more, more impressed with. Um, yeah, uh, t the Comets were the MVP. They charged right in and just overwhelmed the, uh, the, the big armored units by getting past them, for the most part. And Joey, I thought you did a good job at, th at beating Penetration back and uh, helping your team when, when you could. So, awesome job across the board. And hey, Jackson never died. What do you all think? Leave your comments down below. It's been GrayShot17, and I'll see you all next time. Hello, everyone. This is GrayShot17. And before y'all go, let me give a special shout out to Patreon supporters. Joey G240, Malam, Big Cooch, Afaria, Ace, Pyroshark, Tony B95, Epic Pleb, Thank you all for your incredible support and in helping me grow my channel and support my channel and everything I do. Thank you, and to the rest of you, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.